All right, guys. Today is gonna be a review. Uh, build review. Build review. Build review. Here we go. All right. Today we're gonna do a build review of the FT Simple Storch. So here, obviously, you can see is the FT Simple Storch. It has almost a right at a 59 inch wingspan which is the biggest swappable series plane that Flight Test has come out with so far. The, um, the wing went together really nice. It looks very professional um, if you do it just right. Um, my one cut didn't work out so good on the back trailing edge like right there, which is, you know, okay. And the landing gear, the negative is the landing gear. As of right now, their um, build review video does not show the length of the total length of the rod is what I mean um, either of them so I just did 15 inches all around then just followed the rest of his measurements because I wanted the landing gear the landing gear work really good they're very solid but I just didn't have the uh, the length of the total rod so that was one little weird thing the wing, another thing, is how the wing is attached. Yes, it's great being attached with the rubber bands for, you know, taking it off. But I've used, right now I have six rubber bands on it, and it still fluctuates, the wing. Um, so, that's just a little different. Let's see, let's go to the back here. It's, it's a real, a beautiful plane, and it's not even painted. It did turn out, you know, everything lined up pretty true for these, um, for these spar things back here. I just used some, um, glass fiber rods, the rudder and elevator, it all works. I'm having just a foam piece, I put a little back wheel, tail wheel, so that works. I'm using Turnigy, uh, actually it's a mix between Turnigy 9 gram and Turnigy Hextronic 9 grams all around so back here is nine grams or turnage nine grams and on the ailerons is hextronic i just went this is a very simple plane for my dad uh i've put only ailerons no flaps or anything and um i still have to you know tune down the rudder i've not even made it in it right now it's actually raining outside which is a really big bummer uh everything really just went together really good on it the wings pretty strong I'm really shocked at how strong the wing is right there you can see the servo it make sure when you're building it that you have all the extensions otherwise you're gonna have a, like before you glue the wing together otherwise you're gonna have a really fun time getting it in another major not upgrade but mod for this is um, they show it on the video, uh, just for the one part, but I went around and did it to the whole thing like he said, Josh Bixler, and I put hot glue all the way around this. So all you do is you just take a flat piece of foam and cut out like a, a little bit smaller than what this foam is, a little like um, hole, if you want to call it, and then you just wipe it down that. It works really, really good. And also... Now, all over, it's not going to be as likely to peel. So that worked out nice. I put the little spar here. We're going to be taking it out sometime today to do the maiden flight or within the next couple of days. Then we're going to get it down and get it painted really nice. And I got a new airbrush here recently that I'm going to airbrush this thing up to look really nice. Um, kind of really like my Vigan here. This is uh, the regular Vigan. We'll set it right down there. And you can see it's painted up really nice. Lines are done really nice. So, all right, we'll get the Storch or Stork, whatever you want to call it, uh, painted up really nice. I think I'm probably going for like a Coast Guard style. So, red and, red and white and stuff like that. I don't know. I still haven't totally got on that. Uh, I did Memwax it. So, it's Memwax. The engine is a DST-1200 from Turnigy, running on a 20-amp ESC. I'll be running most of the time 
a 3000 milliamp battery but I will also try a 2200 I'm expecting anywhere from 20 to almost 30 minutes flight time so it'll be a really long lasting plane and honestly it'd be a sweet plane to FPV either you FPV through here or through the bottom because you get such long durations of flight time and but you also get the big wing so if something was to go out your engine or your ESC then you could still glide in what I did for the landing gear let me turn it around here's the bottom of it so you can kind of see that is what I did uh, the bottom wire whatever you want to call that the bottom wire where it has the, the um, U-bend is just um, flag wire so yeah the metal or the wiring right here is from surveying flags uh, so I just took them cut them at 15 inches did all the bends and everything but it's almost twice as thick as the other wire and it works so nice because I can just you know it's it's so stiff like this landing gear really won't move a lot and there's also wood underneath it so for the most part uh, the plane went together really easy and <laughs> the, the wingspan is crazy big which should make for a pretty good trainer we'll see how it works out and uh, you guys will have the uh, flight review pretty soon so uh, thanks for watching guys don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye